everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing fantastic and we're looking at the infrared satellites of the Atlantic Basin right now. Now there is that front that is affecting parts of the US bringing some heavy rain, thunderstorms and even hail to some areas. Texas, uh, even Louisiana going into Mississippi, Alabama and as we're going to be heading through today there is going to be that potential of severe thunderstorms as well as large hail damaging wind gusts and even tornadoes and that is for portions of southeast texas into parts of the lower mississippi valley and central gulf states so please stay safe and take all the necessary precautions if you're being affected by that system but as it relates to the caribbean and really anything else out there not seeing anything major going on right now there are some cloud clusters moving through the region helping to increase rainfall activity across areas such as uh, for parts of guadalupe and dominica and uh, elsewhere across the lesser antilles and that's kind of going to be the story for today but nothing crazy is going on right now However, in the wake of that strong front that made its way through the region last week, we've been experiencing those cooler temperatures. So it, uh, so it has been pretty cool, especially in the evenings, the nights, uh, and the very early mornings, such as when I'm actually recording right now. So temperatures have been cooler across much of the Caribbean, and for some areas, it has also been windy. Looking at the rainfall forecast from Euro through the rest of today, here we're seeing that it's really in the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles, Guadeloupe through uh, St. Lucia, likely to experience the most rainfall activity within the Lesser Antilles today. So other areas may experience some passing showers, such as Trinidad and Tobago, even going to Antigua. But uh, the bulk of the rainfall within that area today is likely to be anywhere from Guadeloupe through uh, St. Lucia may be near St. Vincent thereabout and even towards the ABC Islands there are some showers in the area this morning especially for uh, Curacao and Bonaire and that may be the trend through today there may be some intermittent showers and also across parts of northern South America it may be quite active especially for Colombia which is nothing new uh, it is along the intertropical convergence zone where the trade winds of the north and south meet and when there's a lot of instability we typically see that there's a lot happening within the area elsewhere across the caribbean may experience some passing showers puerto rico the virgin islands jamaica uh, hispaniola cuba the cayman islands and even over into parts of central america but on a whole much is not expected through today however it is likely to be quite windy this is the forecast for later this morning and we're seeing all these dark purple and blue shadings. So at the maximum winds today could be over 30 miles per hour or so with higher gusts potentially up to 40 or even 50 miles per hour, especially offshore Colombia in the South Caribbean and even in the Northwestern Caribbean as well. So it's going to be a windy day along the coast of the Yucatan and even parts of Belize, the Keys, the Bay Islands of Honduras and Andres Providencia across much of the greater Antilles, ABC Islands, even the lesser Antilles as well and up toward the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. Off the Atlantic coast of the Eastern Caribbean Islands, waves have been unsettled and uh, this is a forecast as we're going to be headed into late tonight, early tomorrow morning thereabout. We can see all these green shadings which are representing those wave heights of around six, maybe going up to seven and even eight. So offshore the Lesser Antilles and even for Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Hispaniola and in the vicinity of parts of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. And things are also unsettled in the Central Caribbean and especially offshore Colombia where some of the strongest winds are likely to be found today. Some of those wave heights could be up to 11 feet or so and uh, offshore the Yucatan may be up to around 9 or even 10 now, as it relates to the Saharan earlier forecast, so all that dust coming all the way from the Sahara Desert in Africa has been making its way across the Atlantic and it will be blanketed in more areas as we head into the uh, into the week. And so here we're looking at the forecast. This is for later this afternoon. And we're seeing some of those dark brown shadings indicating those areas of higher dust concentration. So this dust has been affecting parts of the Eastern Caribbean and South America, and that is going to continue. But unfortunately, it does result in skin and eye irritation. It may trigger asthma, it may trigger allergies, 
and uh, reduce visibility as well. As we're going to be heading into tomorrow morning, this is the forecast. We can see parts of the islands being blanketed pretty well by this next plume of dust that's going to be moving in. So Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, even towards St. Lucia uh, may experience that dust coverage tomorrow morning and parts of northern South America, Venezuela, and the Guyanas as well. And this only spreads as we head into Tuesday. This is a forecast for Tuesday morning. We see more islands off Lesser Antilles all the way up to Antigua and even uh, near St. Kitts and Nevis experiencing that dust coverage through Trinidad, Tobago, the ABC Islands, and much of northern South America. So the dust is here more is going to be moving in. Now with the higher dust concentrations, it is important that steps are taken to minimize the effect that it would have on your health as best as possible. And just a few tips uh, would include limiting how much time you are outside. So if you can't avoid some outdoor activities, it's good to do that because again, the dust can cause skin and eye irritation as well. And you can also wear your mask when going out to limit the amount of dust particles you're inhaling and it is also important to remain hydrated as much as possible. And so guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video and I really do hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions as always, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so and remember to always be with the wise.